All right, I'm going to show you how to display your health score in lives uh, so you're not just restarting the room every time you get hit by an enemy. This is all going to be done underneath your controller. Um, you will have to have a different controller for different levels so you don't reset your lives every time you get to a new level. But I only have one level for now, so controller level one. When it's created, you set lives to three. Then, in order to control things, um, I'll say other, when I run out of health, I should probably lose a life. So I'll set the number of lives to negative one relative, meaning whatever it is, subtract one. Also, when I run out of health, I should get my health back. Because I've already lost a life, I should now be back at 100% health. Not relative. And I'm also going to make my character jump back to wherever he started the level. So he's going to jump self back to start position when there's no more health. Now, what if you're out of lives? Well, the controller can detect that. When there are no more lives, uh, I'll just restart the entire game. How about that? Restart the game. Now, that will control everything, however, the player will not see any of it. So if I play the game now, I might be losing lives and health, but I can't see it. Well, that's not any fun for the player. So, still underneath my controller, I'm going to add an event that draws the graphical user interface, the GUI. Draw the GUI. So, under score, I want to show them the score. The XY is going to be relative to the size of the room. So remember, if your room is a rectangle, 0, 0 is represented in the very top left of the graph. So I want to go positive X this direction and positive Y this direction so the score is displayed somewhere in the room. So the score, let's say, is 50 pixels over and 50 pixels down. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, not too bad. I like the 50 pixels over and the 50 pixels down. So if I want to go below the score, I'm going to have to have a higher Y value for my next thing. So draw the lives. I want that still to be 50 pixels over, except this time I want to be, let's say, 70 pixels down for the number of lives. Let's see where 70 pixels down is. Oh, that's pretty good. Now my health bar, I'm going to say, is going to be from 50 pixels to about here and in that range. So now I'll say draw the health bar. Now we have a lot of X's and Y's here. The X1 and X2 is going to be X1 will be the left side of the health bar, X2 will be the right side of the health bar. Y1 and Y2 is the top of the health bar and the bottom of the health bar. So if you want a really tall health bar, you make your Y values be really far apart. And then that way, this would be your complete box. Okay, so I'm going to say my X1, I want it to start at 50. And just for fun, I'll put it 200 pixels wide, or from 50 to 200, which makes it 150 pixels wide. Let's make that 250, make it 200. Y, I want to be, let's say, 90 down all the way to 100 down. And these colors looks good. Let's see what that looks like. Whoa, my health bar is a little too wide. I'm going to bring that second X value in a little bit. And yes, I am losing health and lives, which is good. When I am out of lives, hopefully it works that it will reset the game. Yes, it did. That works great. Um, my health bar is a little too wide, so I'm going to set this down to just 150. I want to make it a little taller, though, so I'm going to set this to like 130. Let's see how that looks now. Whoa, a little tall and fat. Actually, it's not that bad, but it's a little big. So that's how we display all of that. And then that should work from level to level. If you want multiple levels, 
for instance, room one will also have a controller, but you don't want it to have the same controller. I'm going to take that controller out. What I'm going to do is duplicate the level one controller. I'm going to call the CTRL level two. And on this one, I don't want it to set the lives to three. He should have however many lives he had when he came in from the last time, right? So it will still display everything, but I don't want it to have all of those. Uh, I don't want him to reset to three lives. So, oh, I don't have any points going on, but I should probably set this so I can actually get to the next room. Level, if the number of burger is equal, destroy the, oh, I don't have a door in this room. That would help. Let's put a door right there. And I'm not even going to put burgers in here. He can just leave when he wants to, I guess. And when my rocket collides with enemy, he gets five points. And add event collision with other enemy. Gets five points. And destroys the enemy. Let's see where we're at. Good, I got some points. Better leave. I have one life when I left room one. Ah, I did not put the new controller in this second room. <laughs> room one. My controller level two, wherever you want to put it. Let's see if it works. I'm going to lose a life just to make sure that it's keeping the number of lives correctly. Now I have two lives. Ah, I went to level two and I now have two lives in there. Works great. Nice game so far. Have fun.